Hey guys, what is up? It is Philbo. We are going to be looking at five of my favorite and what I think are some of the strongest melee builds in the game right now. These are all builds that you will do very well with. So let's go ahead and talk about them. And after we've talked about them, I'm also going to go over some things that you might want to know about melee builds as well as some of the best link runes that you can get. So stick around for that, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first build we're going to talk about is my personal favorite skill in the entire game, and that is combo. It is one of the most warrior-like abilities in the entire game. You are going to be attacking, and as you make more attacks, you will build up the frenzy buff, which causes you to attack much, much quicker, like significantly quicker. And then you will also get weapon range. This ability is one of the fastest swinging abilities in the game. Reaching attack speed cap is stupid easy, and it makes for a great leveling experience because you attack very quickly, very early on. So I love it. I've leveled a character with it. It does really, really well. And for season three, we are being introduced a new unique. I'll put it on the screen here. And that unique is going to allow combo to hit not twice, because if you read combo, it hits two times, but it's going to allow for a third strike. So it is going to boost the damage big time. So this is going to probably be very strong in the upcoming season. So check that out. Combo is going to pair very nicely with quite a few skills. Frost Shock, Illusion Hook, Poison Cloud, Flames of Death. I've put it on a lot of different skills. I like it with those skills in particular because it's going to share the melee tag with every single one of them. It's also going to have physical tag with Illusion Hooks. And Illusion Hooks I don't know. It's such a tasty combination. You're grabbing mobs, pulling them to you, doing damage. So it's nice. But the other three are great if you're wanting to convert to an element because all three of those skills have the melee tag. So you'll be able to get three blessings with those combinations. Flames of Death, Frost Shock, and Poison Cloud. It's got two awakenings that I really like. One awakening allows you to move super fast. You're going to get movement speed amplification per stack of Frenzy. So you're going to get a big, big speed boost from this ability and it is the fastest moving ability in the entire game and i think that because of that it makes it very very good for farming almost as good as some of the spin to win builds in the game so that's one there's also another awakening that gives big damage amplification to elites and bosses so if you want damage go for that one otherwise i would go for the speed next build on the list is going to be none other than Whirlwind and Charge Release. Yes, that is right. The spin to win build that everybody loves or hates, depending on who you are. Nonetheless, it is one of the best builds in the entire game. You're doing damage on the run without having to stop the entire game. Charge Release hits like an absolute truck, and it would take a really, really big nerf for Charge Release to not be the number one ability to combine with Whirlwind. So charge release on top of it doing tons of damage is going to apply the shock debuff as well. So you won't have to use any other way to apply the shock debuff. It just comes with the build. So on top of doing stupid damage, you get the shock debuff built into it. There's not much more to say about this particular build. The other thing that's just fantastic about charge release is that charge release, once you awaken it to the right awakening, it's going to spread in every single direction and it hits everything on the maps i don't think any other spell is as good as charge release with whirlwind in the current state of the game now the next build we're going to talk about is also paired with charge release and that is lightning vortex lightning vortex has been one of the strongest melee abilities in the entire game since the get-go it does so much damage and it covers a lot of space and it shares the area of effect tag with charge release so it is also a visually in my opinion a really really nice looking skill and it has very good clear speed so high high damage definitely higher damage than whirlwind charge release uh, not quite as good for farming but if you want something that does more damage not quite as fast then lightning vortex charge release would be the option you would go with all right, guys, the next build we're going to talk about is none other than Wheel Slash. Wheel Slash is such an amazing skill. It hits everything in an AoE circle around you. It is stupid cheap to make, and it does great damage. So this build, if you're looking for something that doesn't take a whole lot of investment, this is going to be the one. You're not going to trigger to any other spell. You're just going to use Wheel Slash, and that is it. It works phenomenally, even at very low investment. It does fantastic 
It is one of my favorite builds. It has earned itself a spot on this list because it is so damn good at such a budget-friendly price. The fifth and final build that we're going to talk about here is none other than Fear Strike. Fear Strike is the number one in top damage melee ability in the game. It is that simple. It is so freaking powerful. So I think that Fear Strike can be paired very nicely with, yes, again, charge release. It's really overpowered. I get it. But it works really well with charge re release because it has the area tag just like charge release. So it works really well with that. It also pairs really nicely with Illusion Hook. Illusion Hook has an awakening that applies the pain debuff, which is going to give an additional 15% damage. So not only is the Illusion Hook going to do damage for extra damage for you, but it's going to make Fear Strike do a ton more damage. One of the downsides to Fear Strike is it doesn't have the best area of effect. So working in Illusion Hook or Charge Release is going to help you with your clear. So Charge Release, again, it hits pretty much everything on the map eventually. Uh, and Illusion Hooks is going to grab mobs and pull them closer to you. So those are my recommended skills for Fear Strike. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that Fear Strike has an awakening that is going to give it the melee tag. Some of the best links in the entire game require a melee tag. So we're going to talk about those links in a little bit here. Okay, guys, I've got one more bonus build I have to talk about because it is so much fun. I love this build, and that is Frost Strike and Frost Shock. This is the cold melee build to run, in my opinion. You will be smashing things and freezing nonstop. Both of these skills freeze. And the other thing that's nice is this season in Season 3, there's a new unique being added to the game that is going to give Frost Strike a bigger area of effect, so it's going to help with that farm. On top of that, this build shares every tag both frost strike and frost shock have the melee tag area a tag and then cold and element tags as well so it is perfect synergy between the two skills but this is a fun build i had a blast playing it and i think you will too if ice builds are your thing we're going to talk about the link runes that you're going to want to use quick attack is an amazing rune it's going to add tag speed here and is going to be great for any of the skills that we talked about except for combo combo has such a fast attack speed that early on you might use this but you'll ditch it very very quickly because you'll reach a tag speed cap very early on so this is a great one if you want extra damage this we've got melee damage amplification and this is just a really really nice one very straight to the point fine weakness is going to be something that you can use early on when you're trying to reach crit cap i recommend that if you want the highest potential damage go for a crit build there is non-crit builds in the game i think crit builds are superior at the moment uh however they do require a little bit more work to get up and running but no worries it's not that much effort in the current state and find weakness is a really great rune early on to help you get to that point uh, another one here slaughter is going to add lots of critical damage this is a really nice budget rune that you can use if you don't have some of the runes that are required through synthesis yet it does good damage provided you have a decent amount of critical hit i i don't think i'd use this rune if i was under like 75 percent critical rate it doesn't make any sense but if you don't have any other rooms this is a solid one for all the physical skills we talked about earlier like fear strike combo whirlwind what you're going to want to do is convert those to the element of the skill that you're triggering to so that you're sharing the same element and maximizing your damage so for example if you are running fear strike with charge release you're going to want to convert fear strike to lightning damage so that way all of your element damage increases and your element damage amplification increases it will affect both your skills so you're going to want to convert that your melee ability to the correct element if that's what you're running now if you're running something uh like we talked about combo to illusion hooks. That is a physical ability you would not convert. Now for farming, if you have an ability that is a weapon range ability, so combo, for example, is a weapon range ability. It has this weapon range tag. This is going to give a big boost in your area of effect and make farming much easier. So I recommend savagery for that one. And for abilities like frost strike or fear strike that have the area of effect tag, for farming, you are going to use area of effect. This is going to give us a big boost in our area of effect. And we also have 
the damage versions of these. So these are like the farm versions that give us extra area of effect. For times when farming is not what you're interested in and you want the most damage, you can swap out that area of effect rune for concentrated area damage and get a massive increase. And for the weapon range version, for skills like combo, you are going to have concentrated weapon damage. So that is the equivalent rune for that one. Finally, we're going to talk about some of the most important runes. Fighting Spirit, in my opinion, is a rune that every melee build should run. Unless you're giga geared and farming is not an issue, Fighting Spirit gives solid strike damage amplification, but it adds this physical and element damage dampening, which is just absolutely fantastic. You get the 20 stacks plus 10 more stacks right here, which is going to get you 30% physical damage dampening and then 15% element damage dampening. It is just so stinking good such a good rune i use this on all of my melee builds the next rune that i use on all of my melee builds is grand approach because grand approach gives a whopping 45 percent damage amplification plus another five percent when you get really really close to the enemy so get within 100 yards of the enemy and you will do massive damage to them on top of that it is defensive in that it's going to allow you to regenerate your max H hp per second when you're attacking with grand approach at 200 distance or less so tons of damage plus hp regen this is a must have in my opinion and then finally if you have the hp to support this iron will is amazing i'd use this over something like melee damage amplification because it's just going to give more damage you get a ton of melee damage and then up to 28 percent more damage amplification provided you have enough HP. Right now, you need 15,000 HP to get the full benefit of this, but it's also gonna give us a lot of armor and increases our max armor. This is a fantastic rune if you have the HP to support it. Last thing I wanna talk about is going to be Illusion Axe. I use Illusion Axe on my melee builds a lot. For builds that I do not have something like Charge Release, which will apply the Shock Debuff. And the way that we are going to do this is we are going to have Illusion Axe and we will need to convert it to Lightning and then slap a Continuous Shock on it, which is going to add this Shock Rate. So it gives us this chance to inflict Shock to the enemy and it's going to get an even beefier shock effect through this room so let's go ahead and look and you'll see i'm hitting this mob here and it is applying shock so that's how it works another thing i want to point out here is going to be in our specialization i think the best all-around treat for melee builds is going to be the hammer specialization with the hammer specialization you have options here so if you were running something like Fear Strike, for example, Fear Strike has the area of effect tag. We have this area damage amplification node down here, and you'd be able to get this, something like this early on. If you're running something like Combo, which is weapon range, you can run something like this and pick up this weapon range here, get uplift over power and strike. So lots of flexibility here in the first specialization. The second specialization is pretty straightforward. You're gonna get the sharpness effect and the crit damage and crit rate and then also this amplification down here and you'll also get acceleration so second specialization is perfect and then the third one you can go one of two directions so bonfire here you'd be able to come down here get some hp amplification and the strike damage amplification and then go upwards and get attack speed amplification and then punishment punishment adds big damage amplification every 10 attacks and then ignores the um armor or element resist so that's nice if your attack speed cap you can drop this here and then come down here and get close range battle close range battle um move my face out the way here is going to amplify damage up to 15 percent the closer you are to an enemy so that works really nicely with grand approach alternatively what you could do is come into flame flame gives more damage for certain builds you'd come over here grab this 15 percent damage amplification and then you can't see it, but it says 10% area damage amplification down here. You'd come down there and get that. It builds like Fear Strike that have the area effect tag. And then finally, your last two, you could put into Enrage, which cycles between area of effect and damage amplification. So this is a nice big damage amp. Or if you want more sustain, you could go for the HP absorb. So very flexible here. Uh, I myself tend to go for bonfire for builds that don't have the area tag. And then I go for flame 
on builds where the main skill is using the area tag. So that's the rundown on the melee builds that I recommend. I've got links to every single one of these builds down in the description. If you've got any questions about the builds, drop something in the comments. I will get back to you. But if you've enjoyed the video or if it's been helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a like and a subscribe. It helps me out a lot, but I've got to get back to the grind. So I will catch you guys later.